Well, hello again, friends. We're continuing in Joshua chapter 13 today. Uh, it says this, that Joshua was old and advanced in years, which means some time has passed. And it says, the Lord said to him, you are old and advanced in years, and there remains yet very much land to possess. So this is one of the important themes of this chapter, is that there was still a lot of work to do. And it, and it talks about the land that needed to be possessed. It primarily speaks of the regions of the Philistines, which are the coastal areas. But there are other areas listed as well. In fact, within the various tribal allotments, we're going to hear more in future chapters about areas that had not yet been fully taken. So if we think that the conquest, was, uh, you know, that it was all entirely finished with the two kings that Moses defeated and the 31 kings that Joshua defeated, all those city-states, we'd be wrong. We're, we're, we'd be missing a much longer project that actually was multi-generational with the, with the conquest of the promised land. Now, in the midst of this realization, you know, for all of Israel and, and for us as, as readers, that there was still a lot of work to do, in the midst of that, God reiterates a, a great uh, and important proposition that we need to connect with the conquest of the promised land and with the mission of the New Testament church today. It, he says this, I myself will drive them out from before the people of Israel. These remaining, uh, these remaining people groups, remaining city states that need to be conquered. But then here's, here's the next thing. Only allot the land to Israel for an inheritance. So the point is this. God was going to do it. It was going to happen in future days. But they were to allot the land right now in expectation of future victories. Very interesting thing to think about. See, the alternative might have been to say, okay, you haven't taken the land right now. Let's adjust our expectations down. Uh, no, God's got a purpose. He's got timing that may surprise us, but he hasn't changed his plan for victory for Israel. He says, uh, I have, I have commanded you. See, he's reiterating, I have commanded you. So make the allotments, the tribal allotments that I've given you. And then he says, now therefore divide this land for an inheritance to the nine uh, tribes and the half tribe of Manasseh. Now that doesn't add up to the, the 12 tribes. So what do we have? Well, we have um, really a couple of things to make, make this number work. First, now remember Joseph, who was one of the 12, uh, his two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, uh, end up having tribal rights being adopted, as it were, by Jacob way back in, in Genesis. So Ephraim is a separate tribe, Manasseh is a separate tribe. But then the tribe of Levi does not have its own inheritance in the promised land proper except that this, they have certain cities of refuge or cities that are set aside as Levitical cities. So that's a special case. And then also remember that the two and a half tribes on the other side of the Jordan, which are the tribe of Reuben and the tribe of Gad, uh, as well as the half tribe of Manasseh, they have their own inheritance and that ends up being specified here. They have an inheritance in the areas that were conquered by Moses uh, on the other side of the Jordan. So the kingdoms of Og and Bashan uh, and, and uh, the, uh, the kingdom of Zion, king of Heshbon. So they, th the specifications are given here in Joshua 13 for those tribes regarding the inheritance. And this reminds us, this was uh, real work that had to be done, uh, real cities, towns, lands, uh, much of it had already been accomplished, but there was still more to go. Now, let's make the transition, though, to the New Testament. And we have a much larger mission uh, with Jesus at our head, our great Joshua. 
and we're to bring the gospel to all nations. A lot of that work has been accomplished, but much remains yet to do to fill out, you know, all of the all of the kingdom of God to have uh, all of the chosen ones brought in, and it's our privilege to count on that, to realize, okay, the Lord has not readjusted his expectations. All of his people will be home with him. Father, thank you for this wonderful truth that you will keep all your promises. Your plans are perfect. Help us to take up our spots now as your children. In, G in Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you, friends. Have a, have a wonderful day today.